Hey everybody, happy Cinco de Mayo. Coach Scott, CrossFit Durable. I'm gonna bring you Wednesday's at home workout. So if you guys are going hard tonight, I got your cure for you tomorrow. So tomorrow you guys are gonna be doing what we call Macho Taco. So it's basically a component of uh, Macho Man, which is a three movement complex where we're doing three repetitions of each. At home, we're gonna be using uh, our uh, dumbbells, but we're also gonna incorporate double unders or line hops and then also jumping lunges all right so pretty lower body intensive so this is what it's going to look like you guys are going to do five rounds each round is going to be a three minute amrap so doing as many rounds reps as possible but in this case it's going to be reps because all we're doing is max effort on macho man so first movement you guys have double unders so if you have a jump rope available to you break it out today if you don't we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna substitute this for line hops. So rather than doing 60 double unders with this two, uh, two turns of the rope underneath you, you can do line hops or you can also do what we call double taps, which is a really cool name. So literally, you just tap in those hands twice to your side. So a little coordination, you gotta jump up a little bit higher, right, but it's effective. After you guys finish your, uh, your 60 reps, then you got jumping lunges. So jumping lunges, we literally want you to hit full extension with the lower extremities as you're switching feet in the ground, okay? 10 on the right, 10 on the left, alternating. If jumping lunges is a little bit too intense and that causes a little bit too much um, impact on the knees, go ahead and alternate this into just a step back lunge. So step back, making sure my shin is vertical in front and ideally I do want my back knee touching the ground. So that'll be your substitution for that. Now you're coming into Macho Man. So Macho Man, you guys are gonna be doing three power cleans, three front squats, and three shouldered overheads, meaning you guys can do a strict press, you could do a push press, or you could do a push jerk. It's entirely up to you. The goal of this though is to get there by about 90 seconds to a minute left. Hang on as many times as you can, Ooh, and then you got one minute of rest afterwards. So first part, power cleans, dumbbells, touching the floor, tip. And then we're pulling it up to the shoulders, three there. After three, you got three front squats. Keeping the dumbbells on your shoulder. And then lastly, shoulder to overhead, exactly what you want. You either press, push press, push jerk, drop it underneath those dumbbells. So five rounds is gonna be pretty hard to sustain a sprint pace, so really try to make sure that you guys are coming out of the gates slower than you think you need to. If I'm gonna rest anywhere, it's gonna be probably on my second repetition of power cleans here, and then the next time I pick it up, I'm rolling through my front squats and my push, uh, or my shoulder to overheads, okay?